Hello and good day to you. My name is Dirk Dennis from Muto in Belgium and today I will show you an instruction video on how to make a magnetic tray for the 426 UF printer. I have an example with me, pre-made. The magnetic tray's purpose is to position objects, for example the ballpoint, and lock it with magnets. Once secured, you can place the tray on the printer and by using a special file in Illustrator, you can position your data up to one millimeter precise to print, for example, a name tag on this ballpoint. The basic needs to make this are two plates. One plate is the foam PVC, light material, and the second plate is a white coated steel plate, which is of course the one we need for the magnet force. Apart from that, we need double backing tape to fix both plates against each other, and some metal rods which can be bought in any DIY store. This was a long thread metrical tin. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with the most simple piece, the rods. I bought some metric tin thread which I've sawed 28 millimeter in length. As you can see it's metric tin. Just make sure to file the edges when you are finished. We need four pieces of these. The purpose of the rods is of course to position the plate on the table. So now to get the plate dimensions, it's quite easy. You take the plate and you position it in front of the rods and you make sure that this side, this edge, is matching the center point of the rod, while here with the cutter we make an incision again right on the center point. The other dimension is about the table size, so if I can just squeeze it in here and make a second mark over there, I'm ready for cutting. One plate is ready. Okay, so if the cutting is finished, we should have a plate which is exactly the table's dimension. Okay. We position this over the rods. With the tip of the knife, we mark, we have to guess a little bit here, we mark the edge of the rods. It's very easy to mark the foam PVC, it's quite soft material. So once the marking is done, we're going to use the knife and carve out gently some triangles. This first one. Okay, all set. My foam PVC matches the table without any movement, noticeable movement. So now we can continue by mounting the steel plate on top of this. Okay now, we will continue by mounting the steel plate. Let me bend this one a little bit over. Okay. Mounting this on the foam PVC by using double backing tape. Okay. 
and we are done. Once the middle plate is mounted on the foam PVC, I have cut off again both edges to be nice and equally. Just check by the eye to see if the plate hasn't been bended too much. If so, try bending it a little bit backwards. Mount the plate on the printer. We set the height. Okay. And as a test, we will run the plate through the machine by pressing the set media button. So the laser system will check if nothing is too high. And this is perfect. Okay, so once we positioned the plate on the printer, we will need the special magical file, which is called the magnetic tray mesh. It's actually nothing more than just a, a millimeter system, which will cover the entire tray. And afterwards we can position objects on top of it for printing. So now I will just print the black layer. So I go to print and I use my driver. What is important is that you keep full size and that you use the center for placement. In the setup of the printer we take of course the 426 UF, go to preferences, printing now on full color, we can go fast. Under the advanced I'll even switch off the weaving. And what is important is to keep the rotate function switched on. Otherwise the driver will print, the printout will be upside down. If the rotation function is switched on, that means we will get the same image on the screen as what we get on the bat of the printer, which is important for an easy positioning. I click on OK. I click on print, print. This output is of course captured by the layer editor. So it takes me a while before the printer is done. I've printed some already today, I just have to wait. So once the printing is finished, I can click the update button and I get latest one today a full color print I'll switch to color only mode and I will select that file and print it and our first ray is ready. Once we have finished the magnetic tray we can start using it. So for example if I want to print the text on this ballpoint I'm positioning the ballpoint as exactly as possible and I will lock it with magnets. There we go. So the ballpoint starts at the 20 millimeter line and the printable area ends somewhere at the 120 millimeter line while on the other axis the center of the ballpoint is at the 25 millimeter line so I know exactly where to position my text. So we start again by opening our magnetic tray mesh. This is our guide for positioning the text we want to print and I'm writing some text. This is what I want. Let's position this on the 25 millimeter line. So we know the ballpoint starts at the 20 zone, ends at the 120. We'll go nicely in the middle. That should be it. The ballpoint is roughly 10 millimeter high. So I'm going to perhaps make it a little bit smaller. 
just like that. Since we are using UV ink, we have the ability to print a very small text, a very sharp. There we go. Positioning is finished. We switch off the mesh, keeping only the text we want to print. And by using the Windows driver, set positioning to center, we will print out this text. Setup, preferences, full color printing. We don't want to go too fast because it's a rounded object. There we go. OK. Click OK. Click on print. And the file goes to the layer editor. If I wait a while, it will arrive. Just check the driver for that. Still printing. There we go. Select this file, color only, and print. So that's it. When we take a top view, we can see the text is exactly where we wanted this at the 25 mm line. Ballpoint, ready for use, nicely personalized. So we have a mission successful. Object is printed just at the position where we wanted it to be printed. That's it. My name is Dirk Dennis from Muto Technical Support. And I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun with your magnetic tray. Goodbye.